Imagine a propulsion system that defies the laws of physics, producing motion without expelling mass. Then imagine the inventor, vanishing without a trace. This is the story of Dr. Mike Marsden and his enigmatic invention, the Maquan One Drive. Welcome to St. Clair Tech R&D. I'm Brian. I build and I test experimental propulsion systems, like the Pi engine. Today's focus is Mike Marsden and the Mac One One Drive. It's a device that's part legend, part blueprint, and possibly part suppressed science. Mike Marsden was a U.S. inventor. He emerged publicly in the early 2000s with the Mac One One Drive. He wasn't affiliated with any university or corporation. Mike Marsden was an independent thinker and builder. His device appeared to demonstra demonstrate reactionless propulsion, generating motion without expelling any mass. Marsden shared very limited footage online, which sparked a lot of curiosity within the do-it-yourself com propulsion community. Details are kind of scarce, and that just adds to the mystery. The Mach 1 1 drive is believed to be based on a closed loop inertial propulsion or CLIP system. Simplified, it's a carefully timed inertial mass movement or internal movement of weights uh, moving in kind of a figure eight or looping track, which generates net force through asymmetric acceleration. It's unconventional physics for sure, but Marsden's own builds certainly did seem to work. Mach 1 1 was just now turning about a thousand RPMs, and in earlier runs at higher RPMs, it literally came off the scale and crashed. Mike Marsden's work goes be beyond just the Mach 1 1. He was a U.S. Marine back in the 1960s, where he helped develop some of the earliest generations of computers. Those huge machines that took up entire rooms that paved the way for modern computing. Later on in life, Marsden held multiple patents. Many of them were developed under high security government contracts. While most of those remain classified, one of the lesser known inventions was called the O-Beam. This device was designed to achieve virtually zero drag in both air and water. It's a bold claim, but one that was backed up by his physical tests. If I separate two parallel plates by exactly the diameter of this tube by exactly double the diameter of this tube and place the tube exactly in the middle, something truly wonderful happens. column offers no resistance to the airflow. The beam can also generate static electricity to ionize the incoming air and then can be magnetically deflected to collection plates to produce electrical energy. Marsden wasn't just exploring exotic propulsion. He was trying to rewrite some of the rules of flow and motion at nearly every level. Then in 2012, Mike Marston vanished. His website t disappeared. Online forums went silent. Rumors, including one saying he had died, spread all over. Was that silencing by authorities? Was it legal threats? Was it plain discouragement? Or simply being misunderstood and going into sec seclusion? One thing we know for sure is that 
even the Wayback Machine has all of Mike Marsden's website erased and no longer can be brought up and looked at. Unlike hoaxers, Marsden never sought fame or profit. He simply stopped sharing his work. The Macwan One Drive certainly remains a fascinating enigma. The questions are, was it a real effect? Was it an artifact of vibration? Was it even just some sort of design and testing flaw? Or was it truly ground, a groundbreaking discovery that was prematurely silenced? Marsden's work sparked questions we're still exploring today, and ideas like pulsed force thrust and closed loop mass motion appear in my own Pi experiments. At one point, while his website was still active, Mike Marsden himself actually said that it was accelerating the masses and then decelerating them that was what was causing linear propulsion. Through a series of spinning discs, this machine converts angular acceleration and angular deceleration into linear acceleration. This His story, I believe, deserves more attention. So the question is now, what do you think? Was the Mach 1 1 a breakthrough? Or was it something else altogether? Let's go ahead and discuss the, in the comments. Leave me your comments and let me know what you personally think. After all, if this is true, the Mach 1 1 would be a true game changer and would revolutionize propulsion as we know it. Despite the mystery, the Mach 1 1's drive's impact is undeniable. It's inspired many researchers and hobbyists, including me, with my own pulsed inertial engine projects. So, was Marsden's legacy a testament to pushing boundaries and challenging the impossible, along with all of the inherent personal and career-related risks included with ground, true groundbreaking innovation we don't know. In closing, the Mach 1 One Drive remains an enigma, a blend of innovation and mystery, but it reminds us to explore, to question, and to never stop searching for what's beyond the known. Next time, we're going to tackle the Thornson Drive, called the Ezekiel. It was spelled E-Z-K-L, pronounced Ezekiel. That's another device that pushed the limits of conventional propulsion. Our Pi system here at St. Clair Tech R&D is actually based directly upon the Thornton Drive. Don't forget to hit the like, and so please subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned, and really, truly, thanks for watching. Until next time, please be good to yourselves, and please be good to each other. This is Brian St. Clair, signing.